From the dawn of time, man has struggled with keeping dry in the elements. In the past, that has meant either using water-resistant animal skins or poor waterproofing products with disadvantages often outweighing the benefits. This NICWAX video will help you answer your customers' questions about waterproofing and provide you with the tools to sell the right NICWAX product effectively to your customers. Before we start, let's identify some key terms necessary in understanding waterproofing. A hydrophobic substance or material is one that is water-hating. When water comes in contact with a hydrophobic material, it beads up in an attempt to reduce the surface area that is in contact with the phobic material. A hydrophilic substance or material is one that is water-loving. When water comes in contact with a hydrophilic material, the water spreads out and tries to maximize the surface area in contact with the material. Wetting out is the condition when a material's hydrophobic qualities have failed and the water spreads throughout the fibers of the material. DWR, boys and girls, is a water repellent finish applied to the textiles and leather of garments and footwear. The DWR resists water, preventing the treated material from absorbing water. Most garments and footwear come with a factory applied DWR, but this DWR does not last forever. Educating your customers about proper gear maintenance will not only make them happier with the performance of their gear, it will bring them back to your store again and again. Most factory applied DWRs are fluorocarbon based and do a good job of resisting water. But fluorocarbons, in addition to posing serious environmental questions, also have a fatal performance flaw. Fluorocarbon molecules are brittle. As fabric or leather bends and flexes during normal use, the brittle fluorocarbon compound breaks down, causing the DWR to stop working. As the fluorocarbon molecules of the brittle DWR are damaged, they flake and slough off. This degrading of the DWR leaves the material vulnerable for water absorption or wetting out. Additionally, DWRs fail when they are masked. Masking occurs when residue from campfire smoke, soil, oils from hands and skin, and detergent residues build up on a material acting as hydrophilic agents, actually attracting and holding moisture, causing the DWR to cease functioning. When DWR fails and the material wets out, several undesirable effects are the result. When a garment is wet, body heat is lost to evaporative heat loss, and breathability is severely impaired. Independent tests show that Gore-Tex suffers a 50% reduction in breathability when the DWR has failed. Once breathability fails, water vapor from the body has no way of passing through the garment and the user suffers further wetness from within. A very simple first step that will enhance the lifespan of the DWR is to regularly clean the item. Remember to use a non-detergent soap such as Nikwax Tech Wash for fabrics or Nikwax Cleaning Gel for footwear as detergents will leave a water-friendly hydrophilic residue on the surface of the material. Can DWR be reapplied? You bet! That's where Nikwax products are extremely effective. Reapplying a hydrophobic water repellent finish helps to enhance performance and increases the lifespan of garments and footwear. High performance gear is an investment. Protect your customer's investment and give them the most for their gear dollar by showing them how Nikwax can maintain the factory supplied DWR system built into the gear. To review the basics. Hydrophobic equals water hating. Hydrophilic equals water loving. Wetting out equals failed hydrophobic qualities. Durable water repellency or DWR prevents treated material from absorbing water. Proper maintenance of DWR keeps your customers happy and coming back time and again. Protect your customer's investment and give your customer the most for their gear dollar by showing them how Nikwax can maintain the factory supplied DWR system built into the gear. Are you getting wet? Nikwax it. Nikwax. Easier, safer, drier, and fluorocarbon free since 1978.